Zadanie pierwsze. Usłyszysz dwukrotnie pięć tekstów. W zadaniach od 1.1 do 1.5, na podstawie informacji zawartych w nagraniu, z podanych odpowiedzi wybierz właściwą. Zakreśl jedną z liter. A, B lub C. Tekst pierwszy. Where are you going to stay during your holiday in the mountains? At the campsite? I'm afraid it can be too cold for a tent in October, so we've decided to stay in a building this time. You mean a hostel or a bed and breakfast? Not exactly. We still want to be in the middle of nowhere, so we're staying in a cottage in the woods with no electricity. So no internet, no Netflix. Text drugi. Look at this old photograph, Mia. Can you believe this is my dad when he was a schoolboy? Which one? The tallest one with short hair and glasses? <laughs> no, he wasn't tall then, and he didn't wear glasses. Oh, wow. Don't tell me he had long hair as a boy, Jack. He did. Long and curly. Can you believe it? Text trzeci. Look. Polly, what a beautiful day. The sky's blue, the sun's shining, and it's getting really hot. What a pity we can't spend the day at the beach. But luckily, we don't have to go to the city centre again. It was really tiring. Get up, darling. We have a lot to prepare for our guests, and they're coming in six hours. Text czwarty. Excuse me. How do I get to Animax? Well, it's not that close, I think. About two kilometers from here. Do you want to take a bus? No, I'll walk. Okay, then. Can you see that church tower? Yes. Then go this way towards the church. The park is near the church. Go through the park and turn left. You'll then see a huge shopping center in front of you. This is Animax. Thank you so much for your help. Tekst piąty. It's a perfect present for a seven-year-old. It doesn't have games on it, so your child won't spend time playing games. It doesn't have access to the internet, so you don't need to worry about what your child watches on YouTube when you're not around. But it will make your child feel safe that he or she can call you anytime. And last but not least, it will always tell you where your child is and allow you to call your child when you feel like it. Text pierwszy. Where are you going to stay during your holiday in the mountains? At the campsite? I'm afraid it can be too cold for a tent in October, so we've decided to stay in a building this time. You mean a hostel or a bed and breakfast? Not exactly. We still want to be in the middle of nowhere, so we're staying in a cottage in the woods with no electricity. So no internet, no Netflix. Text drugi. Look at this old photograph, Mia. Can you believe this is my dad when he was a schoolboy? Which one? The tallest one with short hair and glasses? <laughs> no, he wasn't tall then, and he didn't wear glasses. Oh, wow. Don't tell me he had long hair as a boy, Jack. He did. Long and curly. Can you believe it? Text trzeci. Look, Polly, what a beautiful day. The sky's blue, the sun's shining, and it's getting really hot. What a pity we can't spend the day at the beach. But luckily, we don't have to go to the city centre again. It was really tiring. Get up, darling. We have a lot to prepare for our guests, and they're coming in six hours. Text czwarty. Excuse me, how do I get to Animax? Well, it's not that close, I think. About two kilometers from here. Do you want to take a bus? No, I'll walk. Okay, then. Can you see that church tower? Yes. Then go this way towards the church. The park is near the church. 
go through the park and turn left. You'll then see a huge shopping centre in front of you. This is Animax. Thank you so much for your help. Text piąty. It's a perfect present for a seven-year-old. It doesn't have games on it, so your child won't spend time playing games. It doesn't have access to the internet, so you don't need to worry about what your child watches on YouTube when you're not around. But it will make your child feel safe that he or she can call you anytime. And last but not least, it will always tell you where your child is and allow you to call your child when you feel like it. Zadanie drugie. Usłyszysz dwukrotnie cztery wypowiedzi na temat uprawiania sportu. Na podstawie informacji zawartych w nagraniu dopasuj do każdej wypowiedzi od 2.1 do 2.4, odpowiadające jej zdanie od A do E. Wpisz rozwiązania do tabeli. Uwaga! Jedno zdanie zostało podane dodatkowo i nie pasuje do żadnej wypowiedzi. Wypowiedź pierwsza. I've been into roller skating for three years now. I've never had any lessons. I just watched a number of short videos with roller skating tricks and practiced a lot. I went out on my roller skates every day for an hour to try some new tricks. It's always made me feel really happy and I still love this sport. Wypowiedź druga. My father wanted me to play football. So he sent me to football practice when I was five. I quite liked it for the first year, as we played a lot and it was fun. But then the training became less exciting. We had to run a lot and do lots of tiring exercises. And the coach said we had to try harder and harder. I didn't like it. Too much stress, too little fun. Wypowiedź trzecia. Sport dancing became my passion when I was seven. I went to disco dance classes and I really liked our instructor, Monica. She encouraged me to take part in dancing competitions and I enjoyed those events. Thanks to them, I learned how to manage my time and also how to lose, which wasn't easy. Wypowiedź czwarta. My greatest dream as a boy was to become a climber. I wanted to climb high mountains, even Mount Everest. So my parents sent me to indoor climbing classes. There I learned how to move my body up the wall and I enjoyed it. But after two years, I simply got bored with climbing. It wasn't as exciting as I thought. Wypowiedź pierwsza. I've been into roller skating for three years now. I've never had any lessons. I just watched a number of short videos with roller skating tricks and practiced a lot. I went out on my roller skates every day for an hour to try some new tricks. It's always made me feel really happy and I still love this sport. Wypowiedź druga. My father wanted me to play football. So he sent me to football practice when I was five. I quite liked it for the first year, as we played a lot and it was fun. But then the training became less exciting. We had to run a lot and do lots of tiring exercises. And the coach said we had to try harder and harder. I didn't like it. Too much stress, too little fun. Wypowiedź trzecia. Sport dancing became my passion when I was seven. I went to disco dance classes and I really liked our instructor, Monica. She encouraged me to take part in dancing competitions and I enjoyed those events. Thanks to them, I learned how to manage my time and also how to lose, which wasn't easy. Wypowiedź czwarta. My greatest dream as a boy was to become a climber. I wanted to climb high mountains, even Mount Everest. 
So my parents sent me to indoor climbing classes. There I learned how to move my body up the wall, and I enjoyed it. But after two years, I simply got bored with climbing. It wasn't as exciting as I thought. Zadanie trzecie. Usłyszysz dwukrotnie wypowiedź nauczyciela zajmującego się szkolnym wolontariatem. Na podstawie informacji zawartych w nagraniu uzupełnij luki od 3.1 do 3.3 w notatce, aby jak najbardziej precyzyjnie oddać sens wysłuchanego tekstu. Luki należy uzupełnić w języku angielskim. May I have your attention, please? Thank you. I know some of you own dogs and others dream of having one. I'm also sure you know that there are lots of dogs without an owner. We can help them. Each of you can help. You can ask your family, friends and even neighbors to help. Why don't you prepare some posters to advertise our event in your neighborhood? Suggest a date and place where people can bring some things for the dogs. It can be anything, not just dog food, old blankets, towels, pillows. Things that people don't need anymore can save dogs' lives, especially when winter comes. You can collect all those things and bring them to school up to the end of November. If you have any questions, please let me know. I believe that together we can do a lot of good for our animal friends. Thank you. May I have your attention, please? Thank you. I know some of you own dogs and others dream of having one. I'm also sure you know that there are lots of dogs without an owner. We can help them. Each of you can help. You can ask your family, friends and even neighbors to help. Why don't you prepare some posters to advertise our event in your neighborhood? Suggest a date and place where people can bring some things for the dogs. It can be anything, not just dog food, old blankets, towels, pillows. Things that people don't need anymore can save dogs' lives, especially when winter comes. You can collect all those things and bring them to school up to the end of November. If you have any questions, please let me know. I believe that together we can do a lot of good for our animal friends. Thank you. Zadanie czwarte. Usłyszysz dwukrotnie cztery wypowiedzi związane z organizowaniem urodzinowego przyjęcia niespodzianki. Od 4.1 do 4.4. Do każdej z nich dobierz właściwą reakcję. Od A do E. Wpisz rozwiązania do tabeli. Uwaga! Jedna reakcja została podana dodatkowo i nie pasuje do żadnej wypowiedzi. Wypowiedź pierwsza. Where will we organize the party? Wypowiedź druga. How about decorating the room with some balloons? Wypowiedź trzecia. Why don't we buy him a new smartphone? Wypowiedź czwarta. Who can help me prepare snacks? Wypowiedź pierwsza. Where will we organize the party? Wypowiedź druga. How about decorating the room with some balloons? Wypowiedź trzecia. Why don't we buy him a new smartphone? Wypowiedź czwarta. Who can help me prepare snacks?